Hi Kerry fans, so today that Mighty Legend 2 is going to take on the Century 1. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate. Slap that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Now don't forget everything can show in my videos. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. So make sure you check those out. Right, so before we get this video kicked off, I want to thank everyone for the support over the past 18 months. And if you're not aware, the question number three went up to get five more lucky subscribers into that draw to win either the Century 2 or the G6. So again, if you haven't, I'll put an old card above link into that video. Make sure you check it out at the end of this one. And we're literally 172 subscribers away from another question going up to get another five people into that draw. Right, so back into today's video, what we're going to be doing is getting that Century 1 up against that Legend 2. Now, so if you haven't seen the previous video where that G7 got put in its place by that Legend 2 and not back to the 1990s, then I'll put our card above linking to that. Make sure you check that out at the end of this video. So what we'll do is jump in and check out the contenders. Right, so on my left we've got the Legend 2 which knocked that Ultimate G back into the 1990s and put it in its place. So, can this Legend 2 hold on to the title of Best Kirby 2021? Well, we're going to find out because it's going to be taking on the Century 1. Now, the Century 1 came out in 2006 and Kirby made some major additions to it. We have this bigger design, thicker handle. We have the LED bulb, so change the front end. And we have the new belt lifter on there and it also came with an oblique brush roll. Now, can this oblique brush roll be enough to get this Legend 2 and knock it back to 1991. Well, we're gonna find out in this battle. But before we do, what we'll do is we'll get set up. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Right, so in the previous one, we started off this battle by vacuuming the bat off with the G4. So today, we're not gonna be using the G4. We're gonna be using this. So we're using the Century 2. Now, if there's a curb you'd like me to use, Make sure you put it in the comments and I will use that Kirby in the next vac off when I vac these off before we do the clean. So again, what we're going to do is now is zoom in, bit of a time lapse, get this vac off and then get it set up to get this battle started. So what we'll do is get straight to it. So the carpet's totally backed off, there's nothing left in there whatsoever. That century or two did a fantastic job. So we've got set up. So what we're gonna do is start this battle and we're gonna see whether this century or one with that oblique bush roll addition can actually make a difference and knock this legend two off its pedestal once and for all. So what we'll do is jump in, get the sand rubbed in, get the bells wound on and start this battle. So what we'll do is get straight to it. And this is the sand for the Legend 2. And we've got 50.01 grams. And this is the Century 1. And we got 50.00 grams. 
Right, so this is bag one, so KE1. And this will be going in the Legend 2. And that's coming in at 68.58. And take that off. And this is KE2. So this is going in the Century 01. And that is coming in at 71.81. This is the Legend 2, and um, we're putting KE1 in. And the Sentry of 1, and that is having KE2. Right, so the bags are in, all the sand's rubbed in, so it's time to see if this Centria with that oblique brush roll can knock this Legend 2 off the pedestal. So what we'll do is go straight to it. Right, so the battle's done. We've done our 10 pass test, so it's time to weigh these bags and see whether the Century 1 with that new bleed brush roll has knocked this Legend 2 off the pedestal. So what we'll do is go straight to it. Right, so the Legend 2. And we've got bag K1, so it's time to get this off and get it weighed. And this is the Century. And we got KE2, and we'll get this one weighed. All right, so this is the Legend 2, so KE1. And we've got, got 101.27. And now for the Centria, so we've got KE2. And that is 101.77. All right, now don't forget, if you can use more videos, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. So make sure you check those out. Right, to the results. So the question is, has Kirby's improvements with that oblique brush roll in that Century 01 been enough to knock that Legend 2 off its pedestal? So we'll start with Century 01. And the Century 01 had a starting weight of 71.87 and a finishing weight of 101.77 which means it picked up 29.96. So it picked up more than the Ultimate G with that oblique brush roll. Really good result, really fantastic agitation, really impressed with it. Now the Legend 2, has it held onto that title? So the Legend 2 had a starting weight of 68.58 and a finishing weight of 101.27. So it picked up 32, 0.69. So it still picked up two and a half grams more than the Century 01, which is astounding. So that Legend 2 is holding on to that title. So surprisingly, Kirby, you still haven't beat the Legend 2. So we've still got a 1991 machine beating a 2010 machine, which is quite surprising. So again, we're gonna to have to jump onto the next battle, which is gonna be that Legend 2, taking on that Century 2. Now with this Century 2, what Kirby did was they kept that bleak brush roll, 
a bit of few few refinements to the motor inside there. I don't know what they actually did. Uh, but they got more airflow out of it and then they changed the mini empty out, which increased that airflow. So we'll see whether that Legend 2 can get knocked off that pedestal by the Century 2 that was brought out in 2012. So again, those you're new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is a cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Right, so back in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is getting that Sentria 1 up against that Heritage 2. Not we're not. Take seven. Right, so on my left we've got the Legend 2, which in the previous battle knocked that Ultimate Diamond Edition G3. No.